What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon opening, and we're opening up the new, a little bit late to the party, but the Pikachu EVGX uh, collection box. Um, we'll do a opening and review. We're actually going to open three of them, so we kind of get a um, good amount of data to kind of make our assessment. And this RP is, I believe, thirty dollars is kind of high, so this will be difficult for it to make it up. Uh, especially when you only have four packs. Yeah, it does have two promos, which usually have they only have one and a jumbo card. Uh, but we're gonna take a look, and uh, I just want to say thank you for all the feedback on yesterday's video, where we kind of went through some counterfeit cards, which is you know an absolute tragedy that that thing exists and people can get kind of duped. If you haven't seen it, uh, definitely recommend go check it out. And thank you for all the positive feedback. We'll look to do videos like that more in the future. But uh, I'm excited for this. The EV art is very interesting. Uh, I will say right off the bat, I'm not happy to see those tabs. Uh, so hopefully we can get at least one of the EV1 of the Pikachus out without taking serious damage. And I'll be right back with these boxes opened up. All right, so we just had a pretty funny roller coaster of emotions kind of situation going on where uh, trying to get the things out and like, oh, you know, here we go again with these tabs things. And then, wait a minute, oh my gosh, there's a four card plunger things yes that is amazing good job pokemon you guys listened or i imagine you listened and figured it out and so i took out the big plunger thing and then it went like this and nothing i was like no the, the tabs are still there how is that even possible um you know you took the effort to do a great job with the plunger and the card is still held by tabs but it's all good the cards are actually pretty easy to get out without damaging them. So, thumbs up from me. You finally figured out how to uh, do this. You know, even when you have multiple uh, promos. It's curious that sometimes they still have the tabs. And I wonder if just like the plastic has just been so mass produced that until they use it all up, they're going to have it you know in their products until that's kind of all gone so whatever let's take a look at the promos this i do really like the art of this pikachu find a friend flip a coin uh if had search your deck for pokemon reveal it put in your hand yeah and then gnaw for 20. it's like yeah this is a cool art pikachu and that's basically it and then let's take a look at Eevee. Very similar story. Running charge, 30x. Flip a coin, 30 times damage for each heads until you get tails. I do like the art, how it has different things in the background. Let's see, we got a Tyrogue, a Rhyhorn, and some kind of bird. I can't really tell what that is. Then we have the Pikachu GX. Agility, typical agility attack. Flip a coin if heads prevent damage next turn for 20. Volt tackle 150, deal 30 damage to itself. And then tail break 100. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. That is terrible. <laughs> and then lastly, oh my gosh, look at this. This super derpy Eevee. I'm going to call you Derpeevee or something silly. Um, Ascension DNA. So we've seen this card many times. And this is just a new art. I think this is like its fourth printing. And I find this so funny. Um, if you told me, if you sent me this card like a month ago or when it, before I purchased it, and said, hey, look at I just drew this card. What do you think? I would believe you and say, oh my gosh, that's, you know, that's that's a meme. That's a meme card. But then lo and behold, it is real. I love how it's textured. It's very different. Um, so I really like this card. <laughs> just makes me laugh. So, man, all around, so far things look good. Again, to get to that $30 mark, we're going to need some fire pulls. As far as the pack selection, we got two Cosmic Eclipse. Nice. One Unified Minds. Okay. And then one XY Steam Siege. Like, whatever. We, we've we've come to terms with this. Or we have no choice but to come to terms with this. With this XY stuff. Hey, you know what? At least all the other stuff is in rotation. And it's very recent. So, better than normal. <laughs> and, whoa, this card is upside down. And that is the rare slots. And I think it's something good because I caught a glimpse of the side of it. All right, for pack number one, we have a Drifblim, Ninja Boy, Zuelus, Shellos, Krogunk, a Tangela, Clink, a Joltik, 
Bergmite is our reverse, and boom! Oh, I love this card. Mega Gardevoir EX. What does this do? I'm just curious. Despair Ray 110 plus. Discard as many bench Pokemon as you like. No, oh, that would be kind of good right now. With get rid of your Dedenes. 10 more damage for each bench Pokemon you discard in this way. <laughs> what does that say about Gardevoir? What kind of Pokemon is, is she? She just like eats her her allies to become stronger. But, ooh, I do really like this art. Big fan of Gardevoir. The Mega version, I can't really tell. It doesn't look too much different. But purple card for a purple sleeve. All right. Good start to our opening. On to our next Theme Siege pack. Let's see. We got a Clang to evolve from the Clink. Claw Fossil, Aerith. Dewat, Meowth. He's like, oh my gosh, Plunger. <laughs> Litwick, Hopip, a Dino, a Litleo. Howlucha is our reverse. And a Hydrogen. Alright, we got another foil. On to our last pack, there is Gardevoir again. And oh my, this pack is so old, <laughs> it's disintegrating in my hands. Alright, for our last XY pack, before we can finally move on to the relevant stuff, we have a Nuzleaf. Steelix Spirit Link, Clang again, Nidoran, a Clauncher, Fletchling, Hopip, a Sneasel, oh, as far as Sneasels go, that's pretty cute, a Yanmega, and a Armaldo. This is like the original Mega. <laughs> Alright, enough of that XY stuff. Let's go on to Unified Minds. Come on, let's get some of those Mewtwo's. Those things are. Still, it has to be a pretty good card when there's like a promo version that you can just pick up for not not cheap, but to kind of guarantee the pull and the card's still going for like $12. All right, Misty's favor, Noctowl, Caracosta, that's not the uncommon turtle we're looking for, Yama, some eggs, Murkrow, a Snover, Meditate doing yoga, in the forest and Escavalier. On to pack number two. So yeah, we still have uh, obviously we still have a lot of cards to open, but so far I feel like my review of this product is cool promos. Um, if it wasn't to record a opening, I feel like if I really wanted the promo, I'll just pick it up in the secondary market, and the packs don't really justify the total cost. But uh, I do like the product though. It is pretty good, probably better than some of their other ones, but I don't think it's worth the price. Finian is our reverse, and then, ooh, I do like that Kangaskhan art, and I don't recognize this at all. Double draw, draw, two cards, tag impact, 50, does 50 damage for each of your tag team in play. Huh, I feel like that could do quite a bit of damage in the right deck. Although, four energy's a lot. All right, still nothing from Unified Minds, but if we could pick where we get our hits in, I think it would we want Cosmic Eclipse, uh, with exception of the Mewtwo's. Mewtwo Mew. Coach Trainer, not bad. Cresselia. Cherish Ball, nice card. Finian. Alolan Grimer. Carablast. A Fletchling. A Sword. Latias. And, ooh, that's another one. A really good card. It's just the unfortunately so it's, it's a one of in the peak round decks I believe, but really strong tandem shock uh, does 160 if you swap it out and your opponent's active Pokemon is paralyzed and then lightning lightning ride for three if you have extra two it does 250 damage plus electro power and that is one shot for almost everything so very solid pull right there and finally we can move on to our cosmic eclipse stuff really enjoying this set. Haven't done a market video for this yet. I kind of want to wait at least a week of the set being out before we kind of take a look at prices because obviously things are still settling down. But definitely sometime next week we will do that video. All right, let's see. We got Curlia, B Sharp, 
Torkoal. Oh, we still need the character rare. Snow Runt, and that is the last one outside of the GXs. Drillbur, Swirlix, Cricketot, a Drillbur again, and Beware. Nothing to get excited about there. As always, guys, if you do enjoy the content, do me a favor, hit that like button. And uh, yeah, definitely sub if you're not already. We're still quite a ways from that thousand mark, but man, that would be a sweet day when it comes around. Uh, if it comes around. We got Will. Mimikyu. I feel like there's been a lot of Mimikyu printings lately. Chincho. Cosmog. Pancham. Drillbur. Ah, another miss on the character rare with Golurk. Ooh, oof, oof, oof. All right. All right, so let's see. So far, four packs each. There's going to be 12 packs total. We're well past halfway mark, and we only have two hits, and one of them was XY. So, yeah, this product is not shaping out too well so far. We got a Vibrava. Great catcher, very good card. Put this off to the side. Dranium, Alolan Sandshrew, Snow Runt, Coughing, Drillbur, a Swirlix, Lana's Fishing Rod is our reverse, and ah, uh, Galili. All right, three packs left. Let's see, out of 12 packs, how many, how many hits would you expect? I would hope for three, and then three I would consider above average, so I guess we're doing okay. Card's kind of nicked, but it's not the rare slot. All right, let's see. Water energy. Blubba and Bryson Man. Oh, was, um, Get Rick used this on us for a prison deck that was super annoying. Chaotic Swell. <laughs> Shoutouts to you. <laughs> Piplup. A Alolan Vulpix. Rockruff. Stuffle. Rowlet. Alolan Sandshrew. And. Ooh, okay. Our first hit. Naganadel and Guzzlord. I have not seen this guy do anything yet. Which is kind of disappointing. Once before your turn, you may discard a Pokemon card from your hand. I mean, discards from your hand, which is nice. Actually, maybe it would be better if you need it from the bench. Let's get rid of the Denny's that are vulnerable. Jet Pierce for only 180 for 3 energy. That's not great. And then Chaotic Order, though. Just take two prizes. Let's see. Psychic Dark. Is that a weird, weird combination? Or combination that doesn't exactly flow with other decks maybe that's the problem I feel like that card does have potential for sure though especially let's say you mix in the creation trails actually at that point you definitely have way too many energy types but to get to two prizes is very reasonable and that will basically seal the deal Magnemite some cool stuff with Magneton basically get as many supporters as you like or three weavile all right so we did get a character and man all right i feel like oh wait seismitoad and you know what i doubt there was like a second print run but the centering has improved significantly i find that very interesting i have no no real sources of information regarding like print runs or anything like that but i'm super curious uh, if anyone even knows how we can even begin to find out, we're going to set this aside in case we want to get it graded. Let me know in a comment below. I'm actually, I find that stuff actually very interesting, just like the logistics of the hobby. Alright, our last pack. Can we get something good? I feel like we need a monster hit to make this uh, opening worth it. Alright, we got Primplup. Beastite. This is another interesting card. Tag Call, very strong card. Teddy Ursa, Nose Pass, Litleo, Flabebe, it's another cool one. Or the uh, whatever evolves to stage two is pretty cool. Victini and a Muck. Cool art, bad card. We did not get there. Not even close. But we did get some cool pulls. We got a w somewhat well centered Weavile character rare. Naganeto, Guzzlord, Alolan Raichu's. Right. Raichu, Alolan Raichu, and a Mega Gardevoir EX, and these amazing promos. Definitely the one. I'm kind of disappointed that the Jumbo card is the Pikachu versus this Derpeevy. Um, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. And it has a new uh, texture pattern, which I think is cool. 
All right, so my verdict is not a great product, but it was fun opening. Um, I love that art style. I wonder if they're going to keep doing it. Actually, I think in Tag All Star, I think there was a Dedenne that had a similar kind of uh, art style. But uh, anyway, let me know what your thoughts are of this product. Do you think it's worth it? My verdict would be a no. But uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.